And so we have this sort of problem. Um, we've got a fraction there and a fraction there and it's algebraic. We've got to solve it for x. So the first thing to do is find a common denominator. The easiest way to do that is multiply these two together. We're then making equivalent fractions. We multiply 2x minus 1 by 3x minus 1. So what we do to this one, we must do to the top. So we multiply 3 times 3x minus 1. Similarly, this one will be 4 times 2x minus 1. So I'll do it. Right, let's have a look. So that's going to be 3 times 3x minus 1 minus 4 times 2x minus 1. And that's going to be over 2x minus 1, close the bracket, open the bracket, 3x minus 1, and that equals 1. We'll expand the top out and expand the bottom, see what we get. So we get 9x minus 3 minus 4 times 2x, which is 8x. And then we've got minus 4 times minus 1, well that's a plus 4. And we'll expand this lot now. So it's going to be 2x times 3x, that's 6x squared. 2x times minus 1, well that's minus 2x. Minus 1 times 3x, minus 3x. And minus 1 times minus 1 is a plus 1. Okay. Before we go any further, of course that equals 1. For any number like this, any two expressions to equal 1, that top must be the same as the denominator. It's the same as 4 quarters, or 8 eighths, or a million over a million. It must equal 1. So we know that that is the same as that. So what I'm going to do is we'll simplify that, and we'll simplify that, and I'll move the bottom, the denominator, to the top. So let's have a look at this. Top it is 9x minus 8x. Well, that's just x. A minus 3 and a plus 4. Well, that's going to be plus 1. Now we'll simplify these and move them to the top. So 6x squared, well, there's no other x squared, so that's just going to be 6x squared. We've got a minus 2x and a minus 3x. That's minus 5x and you've got a plus one. Okay, now what we can say, we've got a plus one on that side and a plus one on that side, we take minus one from both sides so they just cross out. So that makes that a bit simpler. So x equals 6x squared minus 5x. We bring the x to the other side which will make it a minus x. I'll show that actually. So zero equals 6x squared minus 5x minus x. Of course it's 0 that side because I've brought everything over now. And that's going to simplify to 0 equals 6x squared minus 6x. Okay, let's just go up over here now. 0 equals, I'm going to divide by 6, both sides. So 0, 0 there divided by 6 is just 0. 6x squared divided by 6 is x squared. Minus 6x divided by 6 is minus x. And now we can um, factorise this. So 0 equals, well it's got a common factor of x, take the x out. So x times x was x squared. x times something makes x minus x. must be minus 1. Now, for something to equal 0, well, 0 times something must be 0. So one of the solutions is x equals 0, or x equals... Now, that bracket could be 0 as well. Something times x is 0. So for that to be 0, x must be plus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 is 0. That's our two solutions. It's always a good idea to check them back in the original equation. So we just do that here. So we put 
we try x equals 0 so that's 3 over 2 times 0 minus 1 well 2 times 0 is 0 minus the 1 is minus 1 minus 4 over 3 times 0 plus 0 minus 1 equals 1 right 3 over minus 1 plus minus 3 minus 4 over sorry minus 4 over minus 1 that's plus 4 I think you can see that's 1 that one works we we'll just do the other one quickly looks a bit strange so we put x equals 1 in so that's going to be 3 over 2 times 1 well, 2 times 1 is 2 minus the 1 is 1 so that's going to be 3 over 1 minus and this one we put the 1 in again 3 times 1 is 3 minus the 1 is 2 so that's going to be 4 over 2 equals 1 let's have a look well 3 over 1 well that's just 3 now 4 over 2 that simplifies to 2 over 1 so it'll be 3 minus 2 well 3 minus 2 is 1 so that works and that's that algebraic fractions I'll do another one and just see how it works okay thank you again with this one we've got um, an x minus 1 there and an x plus 1 and whenever you see that number there and the same number there and you've got a minus number there and the same number but plus there you know you've got the difference of two squares and I'll do it first to show you what it means and then I'll expand it uh, just to prove it and also what we're going to do make a common denominator so we're going to multiply that by that and then that by that and that by that that makes it into equivalent fractions so the top is going to be x x plus 1 plus 3 x minus 1 and on the bottom we've got the difference of two squares that means we square the first term we square this there minus 1 times plus 1 well it's going to be minus 1 but really it's called the difference of two squares because it's a square of that and we've squared the one really but it's the difference of the two taking one from the other and that equals one now just like in the previous example when something equals one the top is the same as the bottom the numerator on the top equals the denominator so we'll expand the top and we move this up here because they're the same so x squared plus x that's that one, x squared and the x there plus 3 times x 3x and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 that must equal x squared minus 1 um, before I go any further I did say I'd, I'd show how this uh, expands out and becomes that so let's just do that up here ok x times x x squared x times plus 1 plus x minus 1 times x minus x minus 1 times plus 1 minus 1 so we, what we're left with is x squared and the minus 1 minus 1 whenever you do this they're the same but they've just got the, the difference is only the plus and the minus difference of two squares these bits always cancel so you can know you can just square that term and you square that term and they're separated by a minus sign ok back to this then let's simplify well we've just got x squared we've got plus 4x minus 3 equals x squared minus 1 well looking at this I can see I've got x squared on both sides so I can take x squared off from both sides so they just disappear and now I'm going to simplify this by taking this the minus 3 I'll take to this side it'll become a plus 3 
what I'm really doing is adding 3 to both sides. Minus 1 plus 3. So 4x equals 2. And so x must equal 2 over 4, which simplifies to half. And as before, we'll pop it back into the original equation just to prove it. So we've got half, because wherever I see x I'll put the half, over half minus 1 plus 3 over a half plus 1 equals 1. OK, that's this bit on the bottom. Half minus 1, well that's going to be minus a half. A half divided by a minus half, well it's the same number on the top, the same number on the bottom, but it's a plus divided by a minus, so it must be minus 1. This one here, a half plus 1 will be 1 and a half. Now 1 and a half is a half of 3, so 1 and a half goes into 3 2 times. That's plus 2 equals 1. Well, minus 1 plus 2 does equal 1, so that's correct. Alright, these algebraic um, fractions are well worth practicing. You, all you really need to know is um, how to expand brackets, and you do need to know the rules of fractions, so it's well worth learning, learning those. Okay, done.